First of all, Peter, let me say great to have you here for the Teufel THX press talks and especially for giving me that interview to answer some of the questions of our Facebook community. Great. Thank you very much, Bettina. I'm very happy to be here and hope I can share a little bit of information about what THX is and what we do. Okay. What is the added value of THX in comparison to other home cinema systems? Well, THX, we have our roots in cinema. So that's really where we get all of our experience, and that's how we've developed our specifications based off of the research and all of the cinemas that we've done in the past. And with that, we're able to bring all of that into the home theater and give specifications for the receivers, for the amplifiers, for the speakers, so that the entire system works together as a whole. And without that, the consumer is need to figure out what components work with what, what receiver, what, what are the settings that I should set up for the receiver, and I think THX makes it a lot easier because we've done all the homework and we've made sure that from everything from the source to, through the electronics to the speakers to what you actually hear in the home, home theater sounds really good. What criteria does a room have to meet for an optimal sound experience using System 10? How do dampening, room layout, and aspects like that factor into the equation to avoid unwanted resonance and other acoustic problems? Well, the System 10 from Teufel is a really great system. It's obviously it's an Ultra 2 system, so it fits the category of a 3,000 cubic foot room, and you want a viewing distance of about 12 feet, but because the system is, is so powerful, you can actually go a little bigger than those specs. And some of the things that we look for in a room is really just good speaker placement, uh, a good sized display, and also some room treatment to really help with any reflections. How are THX certificates awarded? Well, THX certificates are only awarded after the product has gone through a rigorous series of tests, and only then are we able to provide the THX certification. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. THX speakers plus THX receiver makes THX sound? Or is there more to it like a specific room setup or a setup of the speaker system? So THX speakers and a THX receiver are two really key components mm -hmm. to get THX sound. But THX is really about the entire experience and we now have programs that include video displays, projectors, and all of those things really need to work together in, er in order to get a really good THX experience. How do customers benefit from THX certified consumer electronic devices? THX benefit for the consumer is the consumer doesn't have to do the test themselves. THX has gone through all of the different tests and on the test bench and in our acoustic lab to make sure that the performance of those products that bear the THX name are of optimal quality and only in the top 10% of products can ever meet our specification. Why are there surround sets with just one subwoofer that hold a Select 2 um, certificate? Aren't two subwoofers required? For Select 2 we're looking for a room size of 2,000 cubic feet and a listening distance of 10 feet and that is the reference listening position that we do all our measurements at in the room. And because of that, in order to get the SP levels that we're looking for, there are cases where you need two subwoofers in order to get that output level. Mm -hmm. So that's why some select two systems will only require one and others require two. What is the benefit of setting FCR speakers to 80 Hz with an Anki receiver as suggested by THX speaker settings if the Anki itself says 40 or 60 Hz using its included micro? That's a really good question. When you're using a THX receiver with THX certified speakers, the THX certified speakers are designed for using an 80 hertz crossover so that the high pass for the satellites and the low pass for the subwoofer is also at 80 hertz. And you'll want to continue to use 80 hertz when you're setting your, your receiver because that gives you the best blend and will give you the smoothest response from your satellite to your subwoofer without a bump and or without a dip. Now when a receiver and you're using the auto calibration that's built in, sometimes those are fooled by the room acoustics or you're not always in a square room where the calculations that that auto calibration microphone are, are calculating. 
So because of that, it may not give you the right the right crossover frequency that you should be using, even though it, it thinks it should be something different, right? What happens if you use EQ to alter the sound of a certified THX system? Would it still be considered THX grade output? Well, when you're using an EQ with a system, you have to be very careful about how you use it and what kind of EQ that you're doing. So it's only recommended for really experienced professionals that have done room design. Um, you can still get THX sound, but you've got to be very careful and make sure that you're not adding too much EQ where there really shouldn't be. So it really takes a professional to do. So. Is the System 5 THX Select 2 better than the System 5 THX Select? If yes, why? Well, definitely the THX Select 2 System 5 system, in order to meet our requirements now, requires two subwoofers. And for almost all rooms, it's really much better to have multiple subwoofers in, in your setup so that there's, when you have one subwoofer, you'll find that if you walk around the room, you can have base peaks and dips that really don't provide a nice even response. So what we do recommend is that you try and use multiple subwoofers when you can, and because the System 5 does use two, require two subwoofers, you should be able to get a really nice even coverage of bass in the listening area. Does the Ultra 2 certificate encompass all lower certificates? The Ultra 2 certificate does cover the Select 2. It is really depends on the room size because an Ultra 2 system is intended for the bigger rooms, but you can play that in a Select 2 sized room as well. Okay. What does THX plan for the future? There's talk of THX certified TV sets. Do you plan to cover other product categories as well? A lot of people know THX because of the sound, right? And, but we've always been doing video, video for the cinemas, and we've been doing projectors, making sure that there's enough light output on the screen and making sure everything's all the sources are presented properly when they're shown. Now we've created a THX display certification program to address the fact that you know there's so many settings in a TV and getting that right is not an easy thing to do if you want to get good picture quality and recreate what the, the post houses are putting on DVDs and Blu-rays. So we created this program with by introducing several, and we hired several video engineers into THX that were in the industry to help us develop a display certification program. And with that, we created a spec that, at the time, a lot of people, there were no displays, flat panels displays, that could meet the requirement. And because of that, you know, we, we were left with a decision of, Okay, do we lower our specification requirements for these displays, or, or do we wait until technology catches up? And we decided, you know, this is our specification. These are the requirements that we believe in. So we waited until a product could come out that could meet those really strict requirements. And the result is several TVs now that are on the market that bear the THX name that meet Everything that a professional video calibrator would do is already built into the TV. So all of the THX displays have a THX cinema mode that you, you hit, press the button, and everything's set. Where do you see further potential for audio video optimization, and what goals does THX derive from that? Well, THX is always looking at different markets. It started out with cinema and people wanted to bring movies to the home. So that's where we recreated the home program to create specifications that address how to get good sound in the home. And then we're getting feedback that people are, don't have these large dedicated home theaters and they want to have a good sound still in a smaller room. So we created new programs like the Select program to address that. Now what we're finding is that there's a lot of people that are consuming content on mobile devices. And that's definitely something that we're looking at. And whenever THX gets involved with new programs, we're always looking at what's on the market, 
what, how people are using it, and what devices are out there. So we'll do tests on the different devices that are out in the market today and see what's good about them, see how the user experience isn't great, and THX will come up with specifications requirements that are the best in class. Right. So whenever you see the THX logo on any product, it means the best in class for that room size, for how you use it, and it just results in a really great overall experience. Well, Peter, thank you very much for the answers well, and you. for joining us, and it was a great pleasure to talk to you. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here, and I'm glad that I could answer some questions.